this video we'll give you a close-up view of melting point determination using the Buki apparatus. The melting points of up to three solid samples can be determined simultaneously, but in this demonstration we will prepare just a single solid sample for melting point determination. Capillary tubes are available at the machine. These capillary tubes are sealed at one end. A rack for holding the tube is nearby the instrument. If the solid sample is too granular, packing into the capillary tube can be made easier by first lightly crushing it using a test tube and a watch glass. The open end of the capillary tube is tapped into the powdered solid, inverted and tapped several times on the bench top to allow the solid to settle at the bottom of the tube. To tightly pack the solid material at the bottom of the capillary tube, it's dropped from a height through a long glass tube. Here we see the long glass tube. And here we see the capillary tube being dropped down through the long glass tube. Its fall is cushioned by a rubber stopper. This may need to be done a few times to ensure good packing. The size of the packed sample should be between 4 and 6 millimetres. A gauge is available on the side of the capillary tube rack to allow you to judge the depth of material at the bottom of the capillary tube. Packed capillary tubes can be inserted into any one of the three available holes above the bookie stage. The packed capillary tube is inserted in one of the three available holes and a check is made to ensure that the capillary tube is resting on the bottom. And yes, we see the capillary tube resting on the stage. A chart is displayed near the apparatus showing the heating profiles for the stored methods. Here, Lauren has prepared and purified fluorinone, and we can see the heating profile for fluorinone. It shows that the machine will heat up rapidly to its set point, 65 degrees, after which the rate of heating is decreased to 2 degrees per minute until the temperature reaches 90 degrees. This is about 6 degrees above the expected melting point of 84 degrees. The runtime will be 12 and a half minutes once the start button is pressed. But first, the method for fluorinone needs to be recalled. Fluorinone is selected. A check is made to ensure that the heating parameters are correct. The start button is pressed and the machine will then automatically run through the heating profile of the sample. When the heating profile has ended, the bookie will signal the end of the determination and the melting range is displayed. Note that nothing is displayed for samples 2 and 3. This is because we ran only a single sample here. If we ran three samples, then the melting point range of the other two samples would be displayed in the second and third columns respectively. The result is recorded in the lab notebook. Used capillary tubes are placed in the provided container. This completes this short video on the use of the Buki automatic melting point apparatus. We do have another video on the use of the Fisher Johns melting point apparatus and you can check that out on our YouTube channel Capilano U Chem Lab or you can find the links to all our videos on our website at capuchem.ca/labs. Thank you for watching.